Are you ready to finish the Lavender Forest Animal Village today? <laughs> Yay! Uh, come on, let's go see what we're building. Okay, according to this Lavender Hills Animal Village to-do list, we have already done the animal houses, the fishing shack, and the aquarium. <gasps> that means today we're building an animal cafe and a pet shop. That's gonna be so fun. Which one should we build first, Luma? I agree. The pet shop it is. Let's head on over to the store to see if there's anything new to build with. Hmm, we could pick up some extra purple star blocks. <gasps> Wait, I don't know what kind of pets are gonna be in the pet shop yet, but we could get a bunch of plushies for them to play with. It looks like they've added new ones to the store. Look at this fox. <laughs> Look at him sitting. Look at his little feet. I already have a bee for my moth, but we could also get a bee. <gasps> there's a polar bear. <gasps> and there's an iron golem. Oh my gosh, wait. <gasps> the bee! Oh my gosh. We gotta get them all. I will take you. And you. And you. And you. And you. Should we check to see if there's any more at the decor store? You're right. We should go look. But I can't forget to pay. Here you go. Thanks for the plushies. <gasps> this shop has new plushies too. <gasps> Luma, look at them all. Is that a baby slime plushie? <gasps> a puppy and a ragdoll cat. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're buying all these too. Hello, puppy. Hello, kitty. Ooh, there's a ghast plushie. Look at the baby slime. He is so small. I love him. Come here. <gasps> a panda. A black cat. And a brown bunny. Oh my gosh. Look at how many plushies I have. Do we need all these? No, probably not. But I love plushies. Speaking of plushies, you might see one of me and Luma soon in real life. But anyway. What, Luma? I missed a plushie? Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back to the shop. Where? Oh, there's a fox plushie. Good eye, Luma. All right, well, now that we have a bunch of plushies for pets to play with, it's time to build the pet shop. Lapse was a little chaotic because I couldn't make up my mind on how I wanted the shop to look, but ta -da! welcome to the paw pet shop. Get it? <laughs> because it looks like a giant paw. I think it's very cute. There's currently nothing inside of here. So until we get some pets, let's set up all the plushies we got. I temporarily put all the plushies over here in this chest and we have about 13 of them. Since we have 13 plushies, we're gonna have to add some shells for them. And they also kind of want to put some of these on the floor because, well, I, I don't know. I think that looks cute sometimes. Okay, let's see. We could have one, two, three, four, five shelves there. Maybe another five on top, and then the rest of the plushies can be on the floor. I have decided that the iron golem, the bee, the bears, and the gas are gonna go on the top shelf. So let's put the iron golem in the middle. Oh, him! He looks so cute up there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Next to him goes the gas, and we can have the bee up. B? Wait. There we go. And then we could have a panda and a polar bear. <laughs> On the bottom shelf, we could have the fox, the puppy, the sleepy fox, the ragdoll cat, and the black cat. Since all the shelves are full, that means the bun buns are going on the floor. Along with the baby slime. <gasps> wait, look how small it is in my hand! It's the smallest little baby slime! Okay, but wait, 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 wait. Bun bun, bun bun, slime! Ah, look at them! These are so cute! But you know what else we need in here? We need some carpet to make it cozy. Let's break up the floor a little bit bit and I kind of want to do a mixture of full blocks and carpet so it's kind of textured and almost looks fluffy. <gasps> I love it. 
What, Luma? You hear someone outside? Um, hello? Oh, Luma, the traveling pet person is back in town. I wonder what he's doing over there. Hello? Hi! <laughs> <gasps> a gift? Whoa, what are all of these? Powerful pets? Whoa, okay. Luma, do you see all of these? The glow squid emits glowing particles and glows? Panda pet allows you to eat bamboo as food. The fox hunts nearby chickens and rabbits. The chicken gives you a chance to pluck a random seed from the ground. How does that work? That's, that's interesting. The cow clears negative status effects away every minute. The pufferfish pet poisons your attackers when you're below three hearts. The blaze pet will instantly extinguish the player when they're on fire. <gasps> That is very helpful. Not that I, like, catch on fire that often or anything, but, like, still, that's a pretty cool pet. <gasps> the magma cube pet lets you walk on lava. The creeper pet creates an explosion where you die. And the ocelot pet grants you permanent speed three. These are all so cool. We got to test some of them out. Um, which one should we try first? Wait, I don't know. I'm so excited. Let's put these in this chest for now and try the ocelot pet. I want to run super fast. How does this work? Do I just... Do I just click? Oh, look at him! My point of view got all crazy. Does that mean I'm super fast now? Oh, this is fast! Hello? Oh, and the pet follows me! Hello, kitty! How do I stop being fast? How do I put you away? Oh! Now I have it back in my inventory! Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Which one should we try next? I kind of want to try this one. The glow squid. I want to be shiny. Hello. Um. Wait. Oh, it just emits glowing particles and glow. So it's just a pretty pet. Can we go under the water? Will you glow under here? That's dangerous. There are some dangerous fish in here. That's a bad fish over there. Oh. The fish is eating my pet. Get out. Get out of the water. My pet is stuck under the water. And it got attacked by a fish. Are you okay? <gasps> I got him. Okay, well, this pet is kind of cool. Um, It mostly just looks pretty. So let's just put it back and try something else. I want to know how this chicken pet works. Because it told me that it's going to give me a random seed from the ground. Hello? Uh oh. Oh, oh, thank you. I just... It worked. Okay, that was very fast. I want to try walking on lava. I don't really know where any lava is, so we're gonna have to find some. But when I find it, I'm gonna walk on it. <gasps> lava! All right, Magma Cube Pet. I'm trusting you to keep me safe. Ah! Um. You did not help me walk on lava. What the heck? Let's try one more time. Oh, wait. Oh! Um, so it definitely works. I just got on fire and died. I don't know if you could tell, but it definitely looked like I was walking on lava for a second there. The pet said that I could walk on lava, which I did, but, um, it did not say that it would protect me from fire. So that's my bad. Thank you for these, by the way. They'll be perfect for my new shop. Well, now that this place has plushies and pets, I'd say that the pet shop is complete. Come on, Luma. It's time to build the animal cafe. done. Great job, Luma. The cafe looks adorable. In a way, the shape of it is kind of like a two-layered cake. Here is the bottom layer, and here's the top. We should probably add some tables and chairs in this place, along with a cozy lounging area with couches and coffee tables. I do have a few chairs at home, but I think we should go to the store to pick up a few more things. Ooh, okay, so since the cafe is purple, we should probably pick up some of these purple counters, a matching sink, some fluffy white couches, these purple coffee tables, and some flower pots. 
You know what would be fun? Since I made the floor white and purple, we can alternate the table and chair colors depending on what block they're on. So over here on this white block, we could have a purple table, and on this purple block, we could have a white table. Now this table's gonna get white chairs, this table's gonna get white chairs, this one's gonna get purple chairs, and so is this one. Then towards the back over here, we could have the counters with the sink and the area where people can order snacks. Of course we're gonna have cake, Luma! We'll have cakes and cookies that are edible by both humans and pets! Speaking of pets, what if we fill the cafe with them? That way customers and pets could hang out together! Thank you, Luma. I'm glad you like this idea. Before we find some animals for this place, though, we should have probably finished decorating. in here as you can see all the tables have yummy snacks on them now we have flowers everywhere oh and i changed the chairs that were like in the middle here to stools instead just because i thought it looked better back here we have the counter where you can order your food and then if we go upstairs we have a cozy lounge area look how cute this is you can sit here on the couch with your cake and be super cozy. But okay, what kind of animals should we bring to the cafe? <gasps> Wait, we definitely need a sheep. And I think I saw a really cute one outside earlier. Come on, Luma. We're going to find a sheep. Oh, hey, Professor Pine. You did. <gasps> a critter catcher? This looks so cool. Thank you. Okay, now where is that sheep? <gasps> there it is! Oh my gosh, look at that sheep! That's the most beautiful sheep I've ever seen! Besides my rainbow one. Well, look at his little face! Hello! You're coming home with me. Here you go! You're called Marshmallow! Hi, Luma. Do you think the customers would like to hang out with a pink cow? You're right. They would love that! Hello, beautiful! You're coming with me, and we'll be called Starberry. <gasps> Hello? Come here. Oh my gosh, Luma! I found bunnies! This bunny is gonna be perfect for the cafe! Here you go, little bun bun. You're gonna be called Cinnabun. So far we have a sheep, a cow, and a bunny. But you know what else we need? A cat! I haven't really seen many around, so we'll have to venture out a bit. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hello, Milk Toast. Welcome to the cafe. These are your new friends Marshmallow, Starberry, and Cinnabon. Luma, do you hear that? No, not the sound of animals. It was the star tree. It grew another branch. We did it, Luma. The animal village is now complete. Whoa. Look at it! It's so pretty and purple! Oh my gosh, Luma! This means there's only one more village to fix! That's exciting! I wonder what's gonna happen when it's done! Yeah, I don't know either. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. 